Since 1802, engineering has helped DuPont make the impossible possible. In its first century, the company had no formal engineering department, but mechanical engineering enabled design and construction of DuPont facilities from the first black powder mills on the banks of the Brandywine. Although it was not yet recognized as a formal discipline, chemical engineering enabled the production of gunpowder. DuPont used engineering skills to improve safety by reducing the risk of explosions in the production of dynamite and examining their root causes. General Henry DuPont had a strong personal commitment to maintaining in-house engineering capabilities. We build our own machinery, draw our own plans, make our own patterns, and never have employed anyone to design and construct our mills and machinery. In 1903, the DuPont Engineering Department was founded. Major William G. Ramsey, the company's first chief engineer, led a team of just five men and was once described as teaching DuPonters, quote, to do the impossible. As the company expanded, the engineering division developed specialized technical competences. For example, they analyzed ways to reduce the costs of generating steam and electrical power. In 1915, the field engineering program was created to develop talent through rotational work experiences, a tradition that would continue for more than a century. During World War I, engineers enabled DuPont to supply gunpowder to the Allies by building their largest site to date at Hopewell, Virginia, as well as the town to support more than 1,800 families. When demand for gunpowder unexpectedly doubled just as construction began, DuPont engineers resolved to make the impossible possible. They flipped their blueprints and made a mirror image of the original lines, creating two back-to-back -back plants to meet higher production requirements. To meet further demand, DuPont engineers built the old Hickory site in Tennessee which the company recognized as the most outstanding industrial engineering and construction project then on record. As DuPont diversified into chemicals, engineers put technology into practice by building plants for General Motors, testing car parts at the experimental station, and working with cellulose-based paints. In 1934, Thomas Shilton joined DuPont, where he and his peers helped found modern chemical engineering. DuPont engineer John Howard Perry compiled the first chemical engineer's handbook, which has equipped the generations of chemical engineers. During the Second World War, engineers not only constructed munitions facilities for the Allies, they also helped DuPont bring innovations to customers, producing neoprene for boats, nylon for parachutes, and Teflon in the wiring of B-29 bombers. When the U.S. government asked DuPont to play a key role in the atomic energy race, DuPont engineers took on the challenge of building the Hanford Works and Savannah River plant to produce plutonium. In 1945, members of the engineering department joined the Manhattan Project at the University of Chicago. As DuPont continued to both diversify and expand in Europe, engineers helped scale the production of a broad range of inventions from Lycra to Nomex to Tyvek. In 1952, Louviers became the new home of the DuPont Engineering Department. The building was one of the first offices to use escalators instead of elevators, and its automatic dial telephone network was second in size only to the system at the Pentagon. The same year, DuPont Engineering acquired the 12th Univac-1 computer to focus on scientific programming rather than business processing. In 1964, Henry B. DuPont said, at the center of all technological progress will be the engineer. It is the engineer who literally moves scientific discovery from the laboratory bench to the full-scale plant. In the latter part of the century, DuPont engineers applied computer technology to revolutionize plant design and operations. Our engineers developed some of the first CAD and 3D plant model software 
and led the implementation of the first commercial distributed control systems that gave DuPont a competitive edge. Since the first female engineer joined the department in 1972, DuPont's commitment to building a diverse pipeline of engineering talent has grown. From hosting on-site robotics teams to promoting women in STEM, DuPont engineers have volunteered countless hours and inspired thousands to join and excel in the engineering profession. As DuPont's core values expanded, engineering played a major role in reducing the company's environmental footprint. Novel technology and elegant plant design enabled DuPont to produce the next generation of advanced and environmentally friendly chemicals. At the start of the 21st century, DuPont transformed to focus on three global challenges, food, energy, and protection. Today, engineers help DuPont make lives better, safer, and healthier for people everywhere. DuPont engineers partner with the business to drive growth and improve asset competitiveness, to scale new technologies, and to execute capital projects all around the world. In other words, we continue to help make the impossible possible. Going forward, science-based innovation and engineering will continue to be one of the primary drivers of future growth. From improving crops with agroscience, to pushing the limits of innovation in bioengineering and materials production, engineers will help solve global challenges and shape the future. Our core values, our inspiration, and our ingenuity will define our path. And this is what makes us proud. It's what keeps us steadfast. And it's what drives our determination. This is what makes us engineers. <laughs>